Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be applying a mask to an alignment in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll hide a portion of an alignment from view. When you apply a mask to a portion of an alignment, the alignment sub-entities, labels, and marker points are not drawn, but these items still exist, but are hidden from view. This feature is useful for working on an intersection. In many cases, you don't need to see the alignment geometry that passes through the intersection. In this exercise, you'll mask the portion of an offset alignment that passes through an intersection. This exercise continues from Grip Editing and Alignment. Go ahead and open up your Align-5 drawing, which is located in your Tutorials folder. You'll see that the drawing contains a four-way intersection. Notice that the offset alignments along Road A are not displayed in the intersection area. Each of these alignments has a mask applied to the region that passes through the intersection. In the following steps, you'll apply a mask to the offset alignments along Road B. Select the offset alignment on the north side of Road B. Then, within the Offset Alignments tab, go into Alignment Properties. In the Alignment Properties tab, select Masking. On the Masking tab, click this button right here for Add Masking Region. In the drawing, select the endpoint of the northwest curb. This curb return is going to specify the start point of the masked region. Select the endpoint of the northeast curb return. This is going to specify the endpoint of the masked region. In the alignment properties dialog box, go ahead and select apply. The mask is applied to the specified region. We'll go ahead and do the same thing for the south side of Road B. Select Alignment Properties. In Masking, click this button right here. Select the endpoint of this curb return. And then go to the endpoint of this curb return. Click Apply, then OK. So that's how you go about applying a mask to an alignment in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.